So you're looking at a copy of the River Cities Reader here, uh, latest issue. And uh, I'm sitting in the, uh, in the car with Todd McGreevy, the publisher of River City Reader. I just uh, landed in Moline, Illinois, and I'm here to take part in history. And uh, here's the driver of the vehicle, Mr. Todd well, McGreevy. Welcome, Stephen, to uh, the Quad Cities. That's the Illinois-Iowa Quad Cities. We're literally crossing the bridge as we speak. In oh, This is the Mississippi River right here. Wow. So your timing's good. We're going from Illinois into Iowa. And Ron Paul was here last night in Bettendorf, Iowa. In fact, he spoke right over there at that... Uh, uh, casino uh, convention oh, wow. hall over there. We had over 800 people at the Isle of Capri. Man, I wish I'd made it one it day seven sooner. 7 o'clock last night. It was a huge event. Big success. All ages, young, old, all walks of life uh, from all over the region. It was an excellent meeting. Uh, presentation by Ron Paul. Uh, we're uh, going into Bettendorf in Davenport, Iowa, which is in Scott County. Scott County is the third uh, largest uh, populous county in Iowa. And... Uh, we, we've got a really strong meetup group here, uh, the Davenport Meetup, uh, Davenport Ron Paul at meetup.com. You can check it out there. We've got about 80 members. Um, we have a bunch of independents that live here in the Quad Cities. And uh, we've been doing everything here from fully informed juries to trying to activate the grand juries to running people for offices, independents for county supervisor, fighting Agenda 21 here, a big uh, campaign to make awareness about global to local initiative uh, for Agenda 21. So there's a big independent thread here, and um, we're glad you're here to help, Stephen. We appreciate you coming all the way from freaking Los Angeles to <laughs> Iowa. Well, I just, you know, kind of figured out what was happening and said, this is history in the making, and I got to be part of it. Well, that's you know? cool, yeah. And uh, so I hit the phone, and I said, I, you know, they, they got to need they got to need me. So, <laughs> so let me say, let me hit the phone, let me see uh, where I'm needed, and wherever that is, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm spending the next two weeks, and uh, 48 hours later, here I am. Yeah, don't mess around. <laughs> so what do you say? Should should, 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 should more uh, Ron Paul Patriots be, uh, be, be following? following my well, lead and yeah, hitting I mean, the... it's it's a uh, do or die time right now. I think everybody knows. And uh, this is going to be the shot across the bow, Iowa. Uh, and then it's, you know, next you know, got to go down the down the line, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Florida. So, but uh, we're excited to, you know, be part of it too. I mean, we're everybody's working hard here and the momentum is really building. You can feel it. Uh, I've get emails from business owners and asking, you know, questions and more and more people are are stepping up. And um, you know, there's 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 no signs you're going to see around town except for Ron Paul. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, we're coming up on one up here around the corner here. Well, I can't I can't wait to hit the streets and start meeting some of these Iowa folks and identifying new supporters and and uh, getting them uh, getting them to turn out for the uh, for the caucus and uh, working on my own uh, little stump speech and you know. <laughs> well, we're talking about how we can best deploy you actually already and. Um, we're going to go meet with Mike Angelos here in just a couple minutes at the Scott County. There's a Ron Paul sign right there. 